What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, family. Happy Saturday. So good to see you guys. I just wanted to pop on really, really quick to do this live. Um, man, I've been reading this book called The Energy Bus right here. And um, <clears throat> I'm in this part of the book where it talks about positive energy and how to deal with negative people in situations. And there was a part of the book that I was like, if I don't share this with people, then I'm doing them a disservice. And the part was this. Sometimes you're too close to see that there is a problem. Okay? Just stop and let that sink in for a second. Sometimes you're too close to see that there is a problem. And when I thought about that, I think about the different times where I'm in situations where I feel some type of contrast. I might feel some type of negativity or I might feel some type of pull, right, between what I know, what I desire, what I'm experiencing. And it's so true. In the book, it was like, you got to take some time and you got to step back at times and say, you know, what is the deal? Because when you're so close to an issue, number one, you don't see that there is a problem. You just think that's the way your life is. You just think that's the way a part of your character. You just think that that's how people act, right? You attribute it to like everything else, but you're so close and it's been happening for so long that you don't even know that there's a problem, right? That's number one. Sometimes you're so close, you don't even know it is, there is a problem. Number two, sometimes you're so close that you don't realize that sometimes you're the problem. Sometimes you're the problem, right? And because you've been so close to the problem for so long, you've taken on that character. You've taken on those habits. And when you take on a habit for so long, it becomes a part of your character. That becomes a part of you. And then you have people, or maybe you say, um, that's just the way I am. Right. It's because you've been in proximity to an issue. So, number one, you don't you're so close to an issue that you don't know there's an issue. Number two, you're so close to the issue that you may not know that you're the issue. And number three, sometimes you're so close to the problem that you don't even know what the solution is. Right. So here are some things that the book suggests um, to, to remedy that. Number one, don't take it personal. OK, when you feel like there's negativity around you and there's negative situations around you, don't take it personal. That's number one, because we already know positivity and negativity have to exist in the world. And it has. And just because you worked on yourself does not mean you will be not be affected. Just because you worked on yourself don't mean you will not come in contact with people who are negative or you're not going to create or you're not going to like have those things come to you because it might happen. Those things have to happen. So don't take it personal. Negativity has to happen in the world. That's a part of it. Number two, take a step back. When you're, let's just say like, when you're looking at some art, like at an art gallery and it's right in front of you and you're super duper close, if you take a few steps back, then you can see what the entire picture is and make an educated like opinion on what the piece looks like. That's the same thing when it comes to challenges in life or decisions that you make in life. Sometimes you're so close that you can't see, see the big picture. And I don't know about you, but one thing I've learned in my mid-30s and, you know, from decisions I've made in my early 30s and my late 20s is that how, how I respond to things when I'm really, really close to them is different, different than how I respond to things when I'm further back. And I allow myself to consider all the places, consider the situation, consider the people, consider the energy, consider all the different places. I can make a better decision in how I want to operate than if I'm so close to it, right? So if you have any challenges that are happening in life, don't take it personal, number one. Take a few steps back so you can see. And number three, don't focus on the people who are irritating you, okay? Don't focus on the people. Don't focus. On, it's just energy. People are energy. Situations are energy. So that's number three. So here's some advice. Here's some advice. Because you know I'm going to get into the solution oriented things is don't waste your time and energy on those who don't want to get on your bus. So the bus, the book is called the energy bus. Bus is a metaphor for a life or for projects. Okay. So don't waste your energy on those who don't want to get on your bus. Okay, ladies, 
a lot of times we waste our energy on relationships with people who don't want to be in relationship with us. Okay. There are people who like the idea of being in a relationship with us. There are some people who are lonely and they want to be in a relationship. There are some people who want connect human connection, but they don't want to get on your bus. That is why you're not in alignment. Don't waste your energy on people who don't want to get on your bus. And this is the beautiful part. Everybody has their own bus to drive. They have their own life to drive. Right. So if you have an honest conversation with the person and say, hey, this is the direction I'm going. Do you want to go too? And they're like, no, I don't think I want to go on that one. OK, great, because you have your own bus to drive. Fantastic. Because if you allow, if you decide, like, I'm going to keep this person hostage on my bus, they could ruin your whole ride. They could ruin your whole life. Do you hear me? So you want to make sure you have those open conversations. And then on the other side of that, know that there are some people, negative people or indifferent people who will make their way onto your bus. They will make their way into your life. But it's up to you to take, like, look at everybody, like, where's everybody at? How are people moving around in my life, et cetera, right? And then you say, like, how do I want to operate and interact with those people? It's probably best that you don't keep yourself stuck to that person if they're not contributing to your life and not in alignment with where you want to go, okay? Next advice, piece of advice is, don't let energy vampires on your bus. Don't let energy vampires into your life. Hey, Miss Richardson, don't let them into your life. Because when you, you, and you know those people, you know those people, those people who come to suck the energy out of you, they want to take every single idea you have, or they want to take, you, you tell them your goal, your vision, your ambition, they got something to say about it. They already, they, you haven't even good and got the, got it out of your mouth yet. And they're telling you how it's not going to work. Right? So you can't allow those people on your bus either. And this is the crazy part. A lot of energy vampires will come off as like really nice people to get on your bus. Right? They'll, they'll come off of, they'll come off. They, they might even be really, really kind people like nice. They don't ruffle no fe feathers, but they might be a little passive aggressive. OK, and I can say that all of us have probably had experiences like that where we might have been energy vampires as well. Right. So if you really value your your life and the direction you're going, you can't allow those people's on, people on your bus. Even the people, these people can be giving you money. They could be giving you resources. You cannot let energy vampires on your bus. OK, and there's a quote inside this book that I want to read to you. So powerful. Your positive energy and vision must be greater than anybody's any anyone's and everyone's negativity. Your certainty must be greater than anyone's doubt. OK, I'm gonna read it again. Your positive energy and vision must be greater than anyone's negativity. Your certainty must be greater than everyone's doubt. Right. So as we're going through this weekend, I want you, if you feel any contrast, contrast is like negativity, positivity, what you are experiencing and what you want to, what you want to experience. If you feel contrast in your situations that are confusing, you need clarity that are negative or whatever, take a step back and say, before I'm going to make any decisions or a guess or speak on a situation, I'm going to take a few steps back so I can see the whole the, the whole picture. I'm going to do some personal development surrounding it so I can make an educated uh, thought process or, or guess of what's happening. I'm not going to take it personal. That's number one. Number two, I'm not going to focus on the people because it's it just energy. So I get to decide to feed the positive energy in my life, to read more books, to be around people who uplift me consistently, to be the person who uplifts people, to do my personal development really really working on myself and i'm going to be careful who i let on my bus because everybody does not belong on my bus for even all seasons i'm not going to allow any energy vampires in my life because i cannot accomplish all that god has for me if the energy is going out by a person who's just draining right or a situation that's completely draining and i'm going to allow my positive energy 
and my vision to be greater than anyone's negativity and my certainty greater than anyone's doubt. So I want to leave you with that. Uh, and that was just so powerful to me because I was like, man, sometimes we're so close to something. We don't even see that there is a problem. We don't even see it's a problem. Sometimes we are so deep into, let's just say, our, our weight gain that we don't even see there's a problem. We don't see there's a problem until we go to the doctor. We don't see there's a problem until our labs come back. Then we want to try to make amends with it, right? So we want to step back all of those things, consider all the variables, and really start making a change from there. So I hope that you have an incredible Saturday. Have a blessed Saturday. Um, let's let's get our energy bus going. Let's focus on the main thing, keeping the main thing the main thing, and really feeding the positive energy that is within our life so it overcomes the negativity. Have an incredible weekend, and that is your Vitamin D for Free.